Joshua's final challenge. Joshua had trusted God to drive out the strong nations in the promised land. Much of the land from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea now belonged to the Israelites. They were now able to settle and live in the land God had promised them. It was divided into regions, each occupied by the tribes of Israel. Joshua was advanced in age now, so he called the leaders of the people together to a meeting at Shechem. He then gave them his final message reminding them how God had led and cared for the Jews from the time of Abraham to the conquest of the promised land. I am an old man now and soon I shall die, he said. You have seen all that the Lord your God has done for you, he declared. Make sure you obey God's laws and do not worship the false gods of the heathen people still living in the land. If you do, God's anger will rise against you. Worship God and serve Him in sincerity and truth, Joshua urged. Choose today whom you will serve, the Lord or the gods of the nations around you. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. The people replied, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord, to serve other gods, for it is our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, and who did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way in which we went, and among all the peoples through the middle of whom we passed. God drove out from before us all the peoples, even the Amorites who lived in the land. Therefore we also will serve the Lord, for He is our God. Joshua said to the people. You have chosen to obey the Lord, for He is holy. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your disobedience nor your sins. If you forsake the Lord, and serve foreign gods, then He will turn and do you evil, and consume you, after He has done you good. Joshua recorded the people's reply in the Book of the Laws of God. He then took a huge stone as a reminder and rolled it beneath the oak tree that was beside the tabernacle. This stone will be a witness to testify against you if you go back on your word, Joshua declared. The people then returned to their homes. After these things, Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of God, died, being 110 years old. He was buried on his own estate at Timnath Sarah, in the hill country of Ephraim on the north of the mountain of Gosh. The nation of Israel obeyed the Lord throughout the lifetimes of Joshua and the other old men who had personally witnessed the amazing deeds the Lord had done for them. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.